So somehow you heard about this hidden gem in the aquarium hobby called the sponge filter. Well, congratulations, because many either never heard of one or they never bothered to learn what a sponge filter can do. But sponge filters are a great tool in the aquarium hobby. They're such a great tool that next time you walk into your local fish store, pay attention and try to see how many of their tanks use sponge filters. There's a reason why. In this video, we'll discuss everything you need to know about a sponge filter. How it works, how to set one up, how to clean it, even how to modify one so it can work even better. You ready? Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to Caveman Aquatics. If you haven't been here before, my name is Kev from CavemanAquatics.com. Go check out that website. And this channel is all about helping you with tips and advice on all topics of the aquarium hobby. So if you're into aquariums, make sure that you subscribe and you won't miss any new content. So a sponge filter is a pretty simple piece of equipment. It's just a sponge, that's it. It's got a center column in the middle to allow air to reach the bottom of the sponge. Then it's got a weighted base that goes on the bottom of it just to keep it sitting on the bottom of your tank. And all you need is an air supply from an air pump and an air tube to attach to the sponge, supplying the air, and it works like a charm. So how does this actually filter? Well, that's pretty simple too. Air coming from your external air pump is gonna enter the sponge filter through the top. It's gonna go down the column to the bottom of the sponge. That air needs to escape and rise out of the water. As the air bubbles rise, water is being sucked into the sponge filter, catching all the particles and debris floating around in your tank. That's how it essentially filters your water. But as simple as that sounds, there's a lot going on with the sponge filter. Let's go over it. We already talked about trapping debris floating around in your water. So this is essentially mechanically filtering your water. As these particles get trapped, it's going to help in clearing up your water. Something that we all want in our tanks. And speaking of clearing up your water, I've written a free ebook with great tips and advice on how to get crystal clear aquarium water. You can download it for free right here or I have a link in the description below. Next benefit is this surface area. This added surface area along with oxygenated water being passed through it is the perfect recipe to grow beneficial bacteria. Good bacteria that you need in your tank will begin to grow on this surface area just like it does on the biomedia inside your HOB and inside your canister filters. So that's your sponge filter providing biological filtration. Another benefit, the air bubbles rising being released from the sponge filter is going to pop at the surface of your water causing surface agitation. This surface agitation allows for the transfer of CO2 out of your tank and oxygen into your tank. Oxygenating your water is essential for a healthy tank and happy fish. So that's your sponge filter helping to oxygenate your water. Are you keeping track of all these benefits? I told you sponge filters are great, but wait, there's more. This sponge filter isn't tied down to anything in your tank, meaning it's mobile. You can put it over here, you can put it over there, you can put it in the center, you can put it anywhere you want. And like we already discussed, it will eventually have tons of beneficial bacteria growing on this surface. My point is, if you have an emergency and you need to set up a quarantine tank or a hospital tank, for whatever reason, you want that tank to be cycled right away so that you can add the fish into this new tank. Well, if you have a sponge filter already seeded with beneficial bacteria, you can easily remove this filter from your main tank and drop it into your quarantine tank and that tank will be instantly cycled. The bacteria on this sponge is going to be able to handle the bio load of those new fish in the quarantine tank immediately. No waiting for the tank to cycle before adding those fish. And trust me, when this problem comes up, and it will come up when fish keeping, you'll be glad that you have a seated sponge filter ready to pop right in. So here's a quick example guys of my 10 gallon quarantine tank. I've got my sponge filter in here that's handling the bio load from these two guys. Both these guys stopped eating and they've got a little bit of a sunken belly going on. So I'm treating both of them with uh, Metroplex, Focus, and Garlic Guard, trying to get these internal parasites out of them. Uh, but for the time being, the sponge filter is doing a great job at filtering this tank, keeping the water parameters nice and clean for them. Till they get better, they can join the guys back in the main tank. And finally, the last benefit that I could think of about a sponge filter, and trust me, this one's a good one. This thing is like 10 bucks. And you most likely have the air pump and tubes because you were already aerating your tank, right? I hope so. So for 10 bucks, it can't be beat. One sponge filter can be rated for up to 40 or 50 gallons of water, depending on how many fish you have. Just one by itself. So how do you clean this thing? Super simple. 
You fill up a bucket of tank water. You don't need much water, maybe a gallon or so, enough to fully submerge your sponge filter into it. Then just dunk your filter into the bucket and squeeze all the trapped dirt and debris out of it. You'll see your water get darker immediately, which is a good thing. Just give it a few squeezes, just like you would squeeze out your sponges from your canister filter during a filter cleaning. And that's it, sponge filter clean. It's super easy. And if you wanted to make sure it was extra clean, then all you need to do is add a second bucket of water. Do the same process in the first bucket, squeeze all the dirt and debris out, then dunk it into the second bucket that has a little bit cleaner water and squeeze again. This will get your sponge filter nice and clean. Now I do have to mention this because I know my channel has a lot of newcomers into the hobby. The reason why you want to use tank water in your bucket is because the tank water is safe for the beneficial bacteria that is growing on your sponge. If you were to fill these buckets up with tap water from your sink or from your bathtub, that water has chlorine in it. The chlorine in tap water makes it safe for you and I to drink, but that same chlorine is going to kill all of the beneficial bacteria on your sponge. This beneficial bacteria is super important to keep your tank safe for your fish. So real quick, let me just demonstrate how this thing gets put together. You can take apart these little pieces. I'll put it together one by one for you guys so you can see how it goes. You got your weighted base on the bottom. Then you got your center column pieces. On the bigger sponges, you'll have two of them that attach together. These go right on the base. Slide your sponge right over the columns. Attach your top piece. And then this plastic cylinder helps the air bubbles rise straight up to the top of your surface. Attach your air tube. That's it. Done. Now there is one common negative thing about sponge filters. Well, I won't say a negative thing. I'll just say a common complaint. The air bubbles rising and popping at the surface make a very annoying sound. It may not be annoying to you at first, but trust me, just wait for it. It'll get annoying. But I have an easy fix for you. You can put an air stone inside the column so that the air stone will break up the bubbles into much smaller bubbles, which won't make as much noise when they pop at the surface. Not only that, but I believe that the air stone is going to supply more air, which will cause more water to be sucked into it making the sponge filter even more efficient. If you like a step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly how to modify your sponge filter, don't worry, I got you covered. You can watch this video right here, or if you're a beginner in the hobby and just want some general aquarium advice, I put together a great playlist specifically for you. You can watch that right here. But before you click anywhere, make sure you guys subscribe by clicking right here. See you on the next one.